Hello guys, first off I'm going to apologise for my appearance because not that you guys really give a shit, but I slightly do. I fell asleep at about, I don't know, like 2, woke up at 6, ate a pizza, did nothing and then kind of I'm now filming my vlog. Yeah, so I'm going to try and keep these vlogs really quite short now because I actually preferred having a really short vlog because it was more kind of fun and punchy and I was more energetic and it just it seemed better that way. So I'm going to do that again and I've got some news for you. News is on the way but first I have to give a shout out to the guy who actually did a video response to one of my vlogs. Um, it was the one where it was the get, let's get to know each other one. Um, Thank you for that. Okay, so his channel name is, I'm not going to try and pronounce this because it's ridiculous and my, you, know, you guys should know by now that my voice doesn't work and words don't go through my brain and come out my mouth in the way that I expect it to. So I'm just going to spell it out. <laughs> but his channel is THR33XGaming. So thank you for your video response. Um, you are super duper nice. And I was really surprised actually that I got a video response. It was like a kind of shot in the dark kind of thing. I didn't expect that at all in any way. So um, thank you very much. I guess I should get on with the news. Okay, so Bioshock Infinite has a DLC coming out in late July. It's been confirmed that there's gonna be three expansions and it's gonna have hours of additional gameplay and you'll be able to continue your journey in Colombia. Ken Levine or Ken Levine or however you want to pronounce it, I don't know how you pronounce these things, but he's the big boss of Irrational Games and he said that the development's going really well. So expect a Bioshock Infinite DLC in late July. I still need to play that. I still really do need to play that. There have also been rumours about Google creating their own games console. The console is supposed to go up against Apple who are expected to release a kind of console thingy with Apple TV in the near future. The console is going to support Android based games and there's also been talk about a next gen wristwatch that supports media as well. I don't know, I, what use is that? I mean like, I don't know, I, this, this is only rumours though. So until anything's confirmed I can't really give judgement, but a wristwatch really? <laughs> okay, in this story I heard Tuesday or Monday, I know I was, I was over at Jet's house and she literally thought I was dying but when I heard this I was really really upset because it means that one of my favourite games companies might be closing down and basically if you guys don't know um, Atlas's parent company has filed for bankruptcy. The company is called Index Holdings and apparently it's in debt for about 106 million. They declared bankruptcy at Tokyo District Court. I've also seen like a few bits about them being done for fraud and um, something to do with lying about like the, the game sales and stuff like that but I have seen so many stories I didn't know what to believe so I'm not going to tell you guys any of the straight facts because I don't I don't know myself. Um, the amount of research I went in and did it was just I was just all over the place I did not know what the hell was going on but um, I really hope that this doesn't mean that Atlas is going because obviously I really like Persona and that would mean that no more Persona because there was going to be a Persona 5 and I don't want that to happen. Like I like obviously I want Persona 5 to happen, but I don't want Atlas to go because they're really good. I might play Catherine. I I could play The Last of Us and then I could play Catherine. I've not played Catherine in ages. If you like just like really strange games, go and get Catherine and go and play it. And also if you want to hit your head with a shoe quite a lot of times, because <laughs> my friend Jay did that well at my house once. Um he was playing Catherine and he game raged. This was like the, I think it was like a few weeks before the Zelda Symphony thing um, that we went to in London, which was really good, but that was like years ago now. <laughs> I'm going so off topic, but anyway, Jay hit his head multiple times with a shoe and it was really quite funny. But anyway, um, play Catherine, play The Last of Us, and then report back to me and I will give you a nice little prize of something in the hugging words aren't coming out see this is what happens in my day-to-day -day life but anyway I'm gonna love and leave you now if you like the video remember to click the like button down there if you have a comment leave a comment in the box below where you usually leave comments or you can just you know I don't know leave other little things if you guys have like a video response if you do a video response i will give a shout out to you in my next vlogs so if you guys go and do that then that would be really super duper what is in my eye so if you guys do 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 if you guys do a video response then i will give a shout out to you in my next vlogs um that 
that's that's it remember to like comment subscribe we have a facebook which is facebook.com forward slash the killer bits and we have a twitter which is twitter.com forward slash the killer bits and we i also have an own personal twitter because i think everybody has but this twitter is at nintendo 64 again sorry for the lack of shit on my face because <laughs> I, I look like ass but um yeah anyway um i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you guys on monday bye bye bye, bye.